Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright and here is your Bitcoin, crypto, NFT and cryptocurrency update keeping you informed. Find out which country is looking to ban cryptocurrencies with fines for digital asset trading. Yeah, if you hold digital assets, cryptocurrency, you could go to jail in this country if this passes. How nearly 10% of stimulus checks will likely be going to Bitcoin, including maybe mine, crypto and stock investments, and incredible, the incredible rise of NFTs, which are selling for genuinely absurd prices, maybe, maybe not, after this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, and elevate your money, your financial intelligence, financial education, stay tuned to this channel, also your business, and your life. We cover it. Stay tuned here because we rip through it to help you out. Awesome. Giving away $1,900. We hit 190,000 subscribers, which we're so close. All you got to do is subscribe, like, and comment. That's it. If you're already a subscriber, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Just like and put a comment. We'll pick the comment. We're going to pick a random comment and someone will get $1,900 when we hit 190,000 subscribers, which we're so close. It's amazing. Thank you so much. It's overwhelmingly humbling that you guys have been a part of the community and are part of the community. Also, grab your Weeble stock if you haven't done it already. You can get two stocks valued up to $1,600 when you deposit $100. There is no catch. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people have done it. There is no catch. So in the description below, click on that link and you could get a couple of stocks for free, a PPP loan or cryptocurrency too. When you deposit, you can get up to $250 in cryptocurrency in the description, not in the comments. I don't put anything in the comments when it comes to selling. Also, Patreons, thank you so much for supporting the channel. You guys rock. But first, the country of India is expecting to ban cryptocurrencies and digital asset trading, which could impact millions of citizens and their finances, including impacting. We'll see if it passes law, whether, you know, how much of an impact will that be? I mean, India is pretty big, right? They'd be the first country. India, huge population expected to ban cryptocurrencies and digital asset trading which could impact millions of millions of people. I mean, you, you think about it, all the people that hold that crypto there right now who have mined, they mine the coins and have it. According to officials who have direct knowledge of the plan, quote, it would criminalize possession, issuance, mining, trading, and transferring crypto assets. So pretty much can't do anything with it. Recruit, uh, Reuters explained, quote, if the ban becomes law, India would be the first major, I mean major economy to make holding cryptocurrency illegal. Even China, which has banned mining and trading, does not penalize possession. Hopefully, with the new legislation, doesn't become law as cryptocurrencies are the future of global money. How? We don't know how it's going to pan out, but countries are banning these digital assets could disrupt the, the whole movement, affect how we do it. And, you know, they're talking about even the Fed coin, which was in recent proposals to have a Fed coin, actually a blockchain digital representation of currency. Meanwhile, a recent survey from Manzu Securities shows just how popular Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will be for the upcoming $1,400 or like one of, uh, one of our audience sent over an email, uh, 8400 is what he got. I'm waiting for somebody who sends me an even bigger check. You know, I have relatives that are Amish. They have 12 kids, and plus the two of them. I wonder what their check would look like. Even if, I mean, they'll probably just send it to them, right? So according to the study, quote, 10% of nearly 40 billion, yes, 40 billion of the 380 billion in direct stimulus checks may be used to purchase Bitcoin and stocks. So we should see a big 10%, 40000000000 billion out of nowhere flowing into Bitcoin and the stock market. Stock, my stock portfolio was up today. Many stocks were up today as well. The survey also found that, quote, nearly two in five checks recipients expect some, some portion of their checks to be invested and stimulus check recipients prefer Bitcoin over stocks. 
especially since they've seen it just climb through the roof recently. There's been a little bit of a breather this week, and it hit 61,000. Now it's back down a little bit, and it's got a little bit of breather. Monzer Managing Director Dan Dolvin explains, quote, the survey predicts that Bitcoin will account for 60% of the total incremental invested spent. So 60% of that 10%. He calculated it could add as much as 2 to 3% to Bitcoin's current $1.1 trillion market value, which is as much as Apple, right? When you think about it, one company. This is incredible news is Bitcoin and popular cryptocurrencies, which should be seen even more action thanks to the most recent $1.9 trillion stimulus package, the American Rescue Plan. I hope that you got your money. I know we took a survey. We got 8,000 people, 8,300 that are on the community page that voted. 15%, about 15% have actually got the check. 85% have still not seen their check. So a lot of people have not gotten it in our community, community, which is the community I care about. Finally, you've probably seen them all over the place, but NFTs, what are they? These are non-fungible tokens, right? Non-fungible tokens. I've been talking about it for years when I got into the space in 2016, officially um, fighting for blockchain to be able to be used as ways to secure assets and to trade assets. Well, it's happening. The ERC-721 is finally taking on the tidal wave that I've been talking about that it would for the, I've been talking about it for five years all the way till now, up until then, it was not. People were saying, well, it's not, you can't trade it back and forth because it's not exactly the same. I said, well, no building's the same, no real estate's the same. Cars, paintings, they're not the same. So we don't want them to be that way. There's a specific use for it. And there was something called cryptocurrencies. They put it out there. People bought like these cats and uh, blew up uh, Ethereum, which is mostly where most of these contracts are being put on, is on the Ethereum network. So it isn't part of Bitcoin. They exploded these NFT TVs with popular value, including one-of-a-kind artwork from some of the leading musicians and artists on the planet launching records that people could buy into. They don't really own the record. They're kind of supporting the record. It's interesting. According to Business Insider, quote, purchasing an NTF typically means you have access to the same file anybody else can view or download, but you've also granted something like a digital deed of ownership to it. So it's like owning a deed to like a house. You got a piece of it, piece of whatever's in that, that uh, NFT could be special something that you, and it also shows that you supported it. These digital collectibles range from artwork like uh, Beeple, selling a piece of art for $69 million through Christie's, or even the very first tweet on Twitter, which is going for $2.5 million a tweet. <laughs> and, you, and you don't even own it. You don't own it. You just have some sort of special right to it, sort of, but kind of weird, right? Which big-name musicians like Graham, Grimes and also... Uh, Aphex Twin selling digital artwork through NTFs. It looks like more and more artists will be selling digital art on the blockchain for Bitcoin or Ethereum in the coming years. It's amazing. They're looking to invest in. Are you looking to invest in these uh, NTFs? Let me know in your comments if you guys are interested in this stuff. I have five years experience. You can look back in my feed. You'll see me in Wyoming fighting for blockchain legislation to pass it been part of the blockchain task force in Wyoming and I have entities there as well as I put together entities and I'm partners and owners in companies that I don't promote here that are involved in NTF. So just to let you know, I do have a little background on it, but I'm, you know, yeah, it's been, it's so tricky because a lot of people are putting these out as investments, which could be pretty dangerous in regards to the Howey test and how they're presented to the public. So the last thing that I'd like that, that people want to see is they end up in litigation for people thinking like a lot of the NTFs that they've been promoting. They're saying, yeah, something bought for 23000 and they sold it for a million dollars. So buy a piece of it. You'll make the same money. And that's that that is like not going to meet the Howey test. There's going to be problems there at some point. I'm not trying to be a negative, negative dude on it, but we'll see. 
If you found this informative and interesting, please comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to see more content about. This is one of the specialties that I have. I don't really talk about on the channel much because I'm so interested in making sure that I help you with what's currently going on in your life, like stimulus, unemployment, PPP loans, any financial struggles, how to invest money, dealing with your credit, all that sort of stuff is whatever's gonna help you with my experience, I wanna help you as much as I can. I love you, take care, I'm Andrew Cartwright.